thou wilt. Thou canst make me clean. I will. Be thou clean. You know, when you look at Jesus Christ, he, he was the master, master teacher, the master healer. As we study the scriptures and prayerfully look at our own characteristics, that we've gotten better on helping students to identify what their own divine potential is and how they can build upon that to provide the type of care that they envision they would like to provide, but also one that our Savior would provide. The beauty of nursing is that it is both a science and an art. And what we emphasize at this college is the healer's art. And we try to exemplify that and to teach the healer's art by putting out nurses who can use Christ as an example of uh, caring for individuals. One of the aspects that I thoroughly enjoy in teaching is coming to know these BYU students and to give them more than a nursing education. I've had the opportunity of taking 11 to 12 nursing students to the southern state of Tamil Nadu, India. We have the opportunity to go out to the leprosy colonies and to actually dress some of the wounds of the leper-affected patients who are living there. I saw one of my students that was very intent and with sweat dripping down her face and looking just at that wound and just at that foot and the instruments that she was working with. So I reached down to her and and reminded her that now was the time that we need, she needed to look up into the eyes of that patient and seeing them as a child of God and not just a wound at the end of the foot. One of the things I enjoyed when I was attending BYU was the fact that they focused not only on learning about the science behind nursing, but that they always emphasized that for true healing, it was necessary that you had other things in your care, things like encouragement and caring and empathy for patients, and sometimes just stopping and listening to what they needed. Over the years, I've had some opportunities to have experiences with some of them that are dear to my heart, as I've watched Families go through difficult times. I've seen children who've passed away and families who've had to learn to deal with that. And it's been a great opportunity to try to help them as they have gone through this experience. Here I was expecting to have a two month maternity leave and be home with my little baby girl. And I certainly didn't expect it to take uh, this turn. When we got into that office and Sue Ann put the stethoscope on her chest, I could tell immediately that something was wrong. And she took it off and she put it back on. And, and um, then she said, you know, your baby's heart is beating really fast. And so she put a little machine on her and, and it told us how fast it was beating, 250, I think, beats a minute. And she said, your daughter's having an SPT attack. and. Um, we need to have her actually admitted into the hospital, and it was just a complete shock. I thought it was so sweet. She had a, a waiting room full of patients, but she said that she was going to walk over with us and make sure that she got admitted okay. And I will never forget that long walk down the corridor to, over to the hospital, carrying our newborn and with Sue Ann with us and walking into that hospital room. And there were immediately 20 doctors and nurses surrounding her, and we were so 
confused and so scared by the whole episode of it all. But Sue Ann stayed right there and made sure that um, everything was going okay and that Mackenzie was stable. And Kevin and I just stood off to the side and watched for what seemed like an eternity, um, watching all of these medical professionals taking care of our two-week-old and scared to death and fearful of what was to come and if she would be okay and if she would ever be a healthy little girl. And, and it was scary. Mackenzie is now 11. She just started sixth grade. She's just a great little girl and healthy and growing into a wonderful young lady. I just can't tell and express the value of a good nurse. Um, to know that these nurses are trained and able to diagnose and help treat us and our children in an effective manner, I just can't say what a difference they make in the lives of of their patients. The importance and power of good educators to teach our students is really the future of nursing. And that's really the legacy that we leave is those students that we mentor. Our students carry a very important uh, spirit about them. And it does give me hope that our nurses that graduate from this program will continue to carry forward and be very good nurses in both the science and the art of nursing. Mm -hmm.